everyone and welcome to Sunday School, Growing in Grace and Learning More at Redeemer Evangelical Lutheran Church in the Bronx, New York. Let's remember our mission statement together. Redeemer Evangelical Lutheran Church, by God's grace, is a praying community of service that receives, teaches, celebrates, and shares Christ Jesus. Thankful to be the Lord's children through the waters of holy baptism, let us remember him as we call upon him together, making the sign of the Holy Cross on ourselves, taking our right hands and starting on our foreheads as we say, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Let's fold our hands to remember that Jesus holds our hands. Let's bow our heads because Jesus is our King. And let's close our eyes to focus on Jesus as we speak to him in prayer. Repeat after pastor. Dear Jesus, thank you for coming to us through your word. Help us to keep growing in grace and learning more. In your name we pray, amen. Let's continue by worshiping our Lord together. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus in the morning, Jesus in the new time, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus when the sun goes down. Love him, love him, love him in the morning, love him in the noontime. Love him, love him, love him when the sun goes down. Thank him, thank him, thank him in the morning, thank him in the noontime. Thank him, thank him, thank him when the sun goes down. Serve him, serve him, serve him in the morning, serve him in the noontime. Serve him, serve him. Serve him when the sun goes down. Praise him, praise him. Praise him in the morning and praise him in the noontime. Praise him, praise him. Praise him when the sun goes down. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus in the morning, Jesus in the noontime. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus when the sun goes down. Let us see where we are in the church's year. Today is the 11th Sunday after Pentecost the 11th Sunday after Pentecost. Thankful to our Lord for all his gifts and blessings, today we have a chance to hear from our Lord from his holy word, the Holy Bible. And today we are in the book of 1 Kings. Listen to this story. 
Ahab told Jezebel all that Elijah had done, and how he had killed all the prophets with the sword. Then Jezebel sent a messenger to Elijah, saying, So may the gods do to me, and more also, if I do not make your life as the life of one of them by this time tomorrow. Then he was afraid, and he arose and ran for his life, and came to Beersheba, which belongs to Judah, and left his servants there. But he himself went a day's journey into the wilderness, and came and sat down under a broom tree. And he asked that he might die, saying, It is enough. Now, O Lord, take away my life, for I am no better than my father's. And he lay down and slept under a broom tree. And behold, an angel touched him and said to him, Arise and eat. And he looked, and behold, there was at his head a cake baked on hot stones and a jar of water. And he ate and drank and lay down again. The angel of the Lord came again a second time and touched him and said, Arise and eat, for the journey is too great for you. And he rose and ate and drank and went in the strength of that food forty days and forty nights to Horeb, the mountain of God. The word of the Lord. So who are these people? Ahab was the so-called king of Israel, and Jezebel was his wife. She was a pretty mean lady, and Ahab was not a very good king either. Ahab, Jezebel, and the whole rest of the bunch had decided to worship the Baals. Now the Baals are not even gods, they're false gods. And people like Elijah and others who followed our Lord knew that this kind of false god worship was bad, bad, bad. And so there came to be a contest between the 400 prophets of Baal and Elijah. And as Elijah was there with these 450 prophets of Baal, they all prayed to Baal, asking that Baal would receive their prayers and would rain down fire on their sacrifice. But nothing happened. Elijah called on the Lord, and the Lord not only rained down fire on the sacrifice, but burnt up the offering, burnt up the water all around it, and all the prophets of Baal got killed too. Clearly, this was a victory for all who were following our Lord. But Jezebel, as it says in today's text, was very upset about this. She was very, very connected with these prophets of Baal. She liked Baal. She championed their cause, and she was pretty angry. So she promised, Elijah, I'm going to make sure that you die as well. And Elijah got so scared that he ran for his life. Have you ever run for your life scared? Ah! That's exactly what happened to Elijah. Pretty interesting, isn't it? After a tremendous victory, One word from one wicked woman can make poor Elijah scared in his sandals. As he went off, he was so afraid and so sad that he prayed the kinds of prayers that we hear people even praying today. Lord, it's enough. I've had it. I'm ready to die. That's a sad kind of prayer. It's important to always reach out to our Lord and to other people when we ever feel that way. We always call deaconess and pastor, mommy and daddy, and other friends and family members whom we trust. And we always reach out and tell them when we have those kinds of feelings. Poor Elijah was there, and the Lord, however, heard his prayer. And it says here that the Lord sent an angel And the angel gave him bread of cake and a jar of water so that he could eat and drink. And then he told Elijah, just go back to bed. And he did. And when Elijah woke up again, the angel said, eat some more, because this journey is going to be long. 
the journey to healing, the journey to strength. And you know, the food that Elijah ate kept him satisfied for 40 days and 40 nights until he arrived at Horeb, the mountain of God. Our Lord Jesus, who died on the cross to save us and rose from the dead, understands how challenging our work can be. And that is why he gives us his word, his word that is food and bread for us, and why he gives us his precious body and blood in the Lord's Supper to eat and to drink. Strength for the journey. It's not easy. And sometimes we can be so discouraged, so sad about things that happen to us in our lives. Even when we see God's great victory, sometimes all it takes is one little person to say one little thing and all of a sudden, we're down in the dumps again. But don't be afraid. God continues to send his messengers to us. And the messengers continue to bring the bread and food for you, the bread that brings salvation and life. For you are baptized into Jesus' death and resurrection, and you are absolved, forgiven your sins. You are God's child, and he will look after you and keep you safe and give you bread for your journey. The true bread, of course, is Jesus, because that bread sustains us forever. Elijah ate that bread, and Elijah gained strength. We eat that bread as we listen to God's word, and as we receive Jesus' body and blood, we receive strength as well. If you ever feel sad, you ever feel tired, you ever feel frustrated and feel like you've had enough, pray to the Lord and speak to deaconess and pastor, to your mommies and daddies, to your loved ones whom you trust, so that we can make sure that you have bread for the journey to give you strength to make it through as well. Thankful to God for his gifts and mercy, let us call upon him now in prayer as we fold our hands to remember that Jesus holds our hands and bow our heads because Jesus is our King and close our eyes to focus on Jesus as we speak to him in prayer. Repeat after Pastor. Dear Jesus, thank you for your holy word and thank you for the Lord's Supper. Help us to receive your gifts that we may be strong as we face all our troubles. Keep us all in your care. In your name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah, 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 praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord, hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord. Let us confess our faith together using the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Amen. 
This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made, I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. And now together, let's pray the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And now receive the blessing of Almighty God. Bow your head and make the sign of the Holy Cross on yourself when I make it on you. The blessing of God Almighty be upon you and remain with you forever. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus loves you, and so do we. Go in peace and serve the Lord. See how